Reece, we've just looked at it. Hereford before today, they'd only lost one of the last 10 league games at home, but we've broken that duck to a 1 0 win this afternoon. Talk us through it. Yeah, look, we've not we've not won a game here since uh, Hereford have been, been back in uh, this league. Uh, so we know what a difficult place this is, a bit of a fortress for them. You know, the crowd, a, a constant uh, get behind the team, make it a hostile atmosphere. Um, and you have to stand up and be counted. Uh, one, I think one defeat in the last 10 at home. So to come here and get all three points after traveling to Bishop Stoford on Tuesday night, to travel here on the Saturday, you've got to just hold your hands up to to our lads, the desire, the commitment, the way they look after themselves. Uh, a lot of them have been, uh, will have been working. Um, you know, I just, you know, I just can't give the lads enough praise. It is so difficult. I, I feel exhausted. I don't have to play. You know, the, these lads have to go out and play. Um, and at times, you know, we probably were a little bit a little bit off it. You know, we weren't great in possession today. But out of possession, I thought we were magnificent. Uh, because Hereford are a threat. They've got good movement. They've got a few different ways that, that they look to get in. Um, play at high tempo. Test you from kicks early, uh, they put balls up to the strikers, put balls in behind you. You know, you've got to concentrate for 95 minutes um, and you can't make a mistake because they're punisher. And well, look, they had, they had a, a pretty good chance right at the end. Uh, Cissé's come inside and uh, pulled one past the post. Other than that, you know, we've came, kept him away from our goal, Max. Is the only saves he's had have been straight at him. They, you know, they they've been from distance and, and quite comfortable. So, you know, we've kept him away from our goal. So that takes a lot of doing uh, against a, a side with the quality they've got. So delighted to get three points. Uh, really, I think we really deserved it because you know we had a few chances ourselves on the counter, um, and you know we worked their keeper a couple of times. Um, um, you know, we've got more points than we have last year now, so that's a fantastic feeling with nine games to go. Yeah, talk us through that. The, the goal that won it, Jack Hazelhurst, a great throw from Justin, a little knockdown, and then Jack's there, right place, right time. Maybe a big sucker punch for them, but they'll count, don't they? Yeah, look, we work hard at our set pieces. Um, it's something that doesn't cost anything, it just costs a bit of time, a bit of organisation. Um, and. You know, we've come up with a with a really, really well worked uh, long throw. Uh, so really pleased that the lads concentrate, do the do their jobs, um, and we got another couple of opportunities from corners as well. So when you're not as fluent in possession and you're not getting in the ways that you normally get in, um, because our passing, you know, our passing just wasn't good enough today. You know, the few times we did, we looked like we could get in, but. It was few and far between today. You know, we weren't we weren't good in possession. So you got to find another way of of creating or scoring goals, and our set pieces are uh, are an important part of that. Um, so yeah, delighted. And, and Jack, you know, it's a nice calm finish for him at the end, and uh, he's on fire at the minute. Yeah, I think we looked at the stats pretty even for both sides, but we definitely had spells that second half where they did keep on going at us, but. As you mentioned earlier, we really stood up to it, and was that especially pleasing that you know the character and the desire that the lads did show? Just to, so at times did they, did they did hang in there, I suppose. Yeah, and I just never felt that we were hanging in there. I, I never felt that they, they they had that that momentum of you know a corner or you know a great save or someone putting a brilliant block or deflected shot, and they come again and again and again, and we couldn't get out, and we've sat on the edge of our box. I never, I never. I never felt like that. I felt, I felt that it was going to be like something that was deflected, or, a, or it was going to be a mistake, or you know, I didn't really think that they could play through us. Um, and, I, and you know, and any balls in the box, we, we dealt with really well. So, as confident as you can be, and I'm the biggest pessimist on the side, thinking that something's going to happen. You know, I thought we saw out the game again really well, and we've done that the last few weeks. We've done that really well. Um, and like I said before, you know, we're on the break, you know, we could we could have had another couple. You know, they put a couple of good blocks in. Just the keepers made a good smothering save off Jack. Probably not made the right decision uh, at the. End.
the end. But look, I'm you know I'm buzzing to come to come to Hereford, who are who are pushing again for the playoffs, um, and to to come here and get three points. That's a big big three points for us. Yeah, and uh, two of the three long away trips done, two wins, two big results. The end of the 1100 mile roller coaster within a week, and we move on to South Shields away on Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> okay. somehow we, you know, like I said, we've got to find a way. You know, we have to find a way of getting through through these games. Uh, we've got a tough schedule. We fa found a way of getting through the Christmas schedule, uh, and now you know we we found a way to get six points out of two games. We've got one more to go. You know, we, we would have took six points all day uh, out of those three games, but now we've got to South Shields um, with six already under our belt. We know how good South Shields are. Uh, they, you know, they absolutely tore us apart at our place, and somehow we managed to win the game. Um, so it's going to be tough. You know, we're going to be tested again. It's going to be physically demanding on the lads. Um, there's going to be a lot of tired legs. There's no doubt about that. So. You know, I just have to have a look and, and, and see, you know, if I can freshen it up and there's any way we can freshen it up. Um, but, you know, these lads will go again and again and again. Um, and how great was it to have so many fans travelling to Hereford on, on on a Saturday afternoon? <laughs> you know, it was brilliant to hear them. You could hear them during the game. You know, I think the last time come here, you could count them, there was four or five. This time, you know, there was way, way more than that. There was like, you know, 40 or 50. Uh, and they made some noise. I could hear them all the time. Um, and when you're one nil up away from home, to know that you've got that support uh, makes a big difference. So credit to them. Thanks to them. Um, and to <laughs> see how many can can find time off work to follow us at South Shields, and uh, hopefully we can get some points there.